We've installed Drupal and are logged in as the administrator. We know this because we see this black bar at the top, and we also see our administrator name up here, admin. That was the one that we entered when we first installed Drupal. It's known as the super user. If you don't see these things, here's what you do. First, I'll log out to show you what it looks like when you're not logged in as the administrator. That bar disappears, and you see this user login over here. I'll log in. My username is admin. And my password throughout the course is lowercase Drupal, D-R-U-P-A-L. And then just click login. And we're back in. The toolbar is really broken into three parts. The first one is pretty obvious, the home button. Clicking there brings you to the front of your site. It's the same place you'd go if you were to click the logo here, or the title, or the home button. It's good that it's in the toolbar, though, because sometimes while you're developing a site, you'll remove all of these links. The second group of controls in the toolbar is all of these here in the middle, and I'll be showing you more about these in just a few minutes. One in particular I want to mention, however, is the dashboard over here. When you click this, you come to a customizable view of administrative options, and you'll learn about this in a separate video about the dashboard. Finally, we have these links at the far right. It's obvious what Logout does. We already showed you that. The one to the left leads to your user account page. Here you can view your profile, or you can edit it by clicking the Edit tab. You'll find out more about this in the Managing Users section. Now when we go back, you'll notice a third tab called Shortcuts. We have a video in this course also which will explain what shortcuts are and how that fits in with this gray area up here, the shortcut bar. Let's get back to these links up here at the top. There are essentially two kinds of links here. Some of them take you directly to pages where you can perform actions. Those are content, where you see a list of content and can perform certain functions on them. Appearance, which lets you switch among themes, that is the visual display of the page. And people, which shows you a list of who's on the site. It's very similar, you'll notice, to the content page. But instead of being about nodes, it's about members of your site. Finally, there's the modules link, which shows you the different pieces that make up your Drupal software, both the core, that is what you first download from drupal.org when you install Drupal, and any additional ones that you download. The other kind of link in the toolbar leads to lists of links. You'll see that under Structure, Configuration, Reports, and Help. Obviously, when you go to any of these, you'll just click on whichever link you want and get further information and controls there. Now, you've probably noticed this gray bar up here. It's called the Shortcut Bar, and I'll talk about it in a separate video. The big difference between the toolbar and the shortcut bar is that you can easily change the links that appear in the shortcut bar. The toolbar, on the other hand, is intended to stay the same no matter how you configure the site. I'll let you in on a little secret, though. You can actually change what's in the toolbar up here. To do so, you would click Structure, then Menus, then Management, under List Links. These top-level links underneath Administration match up with the links on the toolbar, and if you were to change these around or disable them, they would disappear or reappear up here in the toolbar. You'll learn more about that in the videos about menus. The toolbar is new in Drupal 7, and it's part of the push to make Drupal easier for beginners to understand. But it's not the only way to get at Drupal's administrative controls. For one thing, whenever you're on an administrative page, you'll see this list of links up here, what's called a breadcrumb trail. One of the early links will be administration, when you click that, you see once again links that are very similar to the ones in the toolbar, dashboard content structure, dashboard content structure, and on it goes. The other way to get directly to an administration page is to type in the URL directly. You could type in this entire thing, or you could remove part of it so you only show the administrative page itself. The other way to get to administrative pages is to type in its URL in the address bar in your browser. You could type in the entire thing, or just the part that's in the administrative overlay. Like so. You'll learn more about that in the video about the administrative overlay. Now what if for some reason you decide you don't like seeing the toolbar at all? You want to get rid of this black area up here? Well, you can turn it off entirely. To do so, click Modules, and then scroll down to Toolbar. Check the box, go down to the bottom and click Save Configuration. 
both the toolbar and the shortcut bar will disappear. I'm going to turn it back on, though, for the rest of the course. I simply click and save configuration. And I think I'll go back home. Now, I mentioned you can change the toolbar, but it's a little bit difficult to do. But if you want to have a customizable experience, there are two ways. First, there's the dashboard, as I mentioned earlier. And then there's the gray shortcut bar as well, which is completely configurable. You'll learn all about that in the video about using the shortcut bar.